let's do now inventory management example one so we have neon lights are placed at the rate of 100 units per day okay and the physical plan to order the neon line periodically it costs 100 dollar to initiate a purchase order they're kept in storage the lead time is two days and consider 12 days determine the optimal inventory policy so we start with they said it's they have been replaced at the rate of 100 units per day as you would see here 100 to keep to initiate an order to keep them in storage this amount and the lead time is two days and try 12 days we start with optimal order as we said before is y 2 kd over h you always have to make sure the uh, unit of d and h are both in time the same unit of time it could be days it could be hours but one unit of time like 100 unit per day 100 unit per hour 100 unit per year so the same unit of time so y equal 1000 per order the cycle time is the amount of time needed to consume those amount ordered is y over d so it's when 10 days per every order would last every order would last for 10 days and the total cost is equal k over y over d plus h y over 2 so we will replace k as an initial cost as a setup cost we get twenty dollars and we have to write the policy which is extremely important we have to order one thousand parts two days in advance for a cost of twenty dollars why it is a day here because um, as we said before d and h they must have the same unit of time which is day and so the value is in day and now to draw the lead time first is two day in advance then 12 days in advance how would you draw it uh, so it is very straightforward it is very straightforward i will show you uh, so we have here 10 days as you would see it here okay so to receive uh, units here is a second receive of unit we place some two days before receiving them lead time which mean two days for the unit to get delivered and r3 we have p3 here two days and they will last for 10 days like we receive them here second order and it would last to here till we receive this one so in the policy we said before it's two days in advance if the delivery time is 12 days so to place uh, to receive the amount of unit here at that day we must place it here 10 plus 2 days plus 10 okay so we must place it here and receive it here we must place it before 12 days so on the long run we don't see 12 days we see as 2 days which is here which is here so we say it's 2 days in advance because we subtract 10 days is this three really confusing for you just see it's considered like this equation we have l effective equal l which is 12 minus n t0 we have the t0 is equal to n. n is the largest integer not exceeding l over t0 l over t0 is 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 what's the largest in integer not exceeding the 1.2 is 1 so 12 minus 1 times 10 so we have equal to 2 days